Our Weed of the Week is Eastern Black Nightshade. This one was a real nightmare for us, Brian, when we were younger. When we were in our teens, uh, we started seeing some black nightshade popping up on our farm, and Dad was raising soybeans for seed production. And you can't have any black nightshade in there at all. What happens is those berries, when they ripen, they burst at harvest time as you're hitting them with the combine, they smash, they smear around the soybean seed. And if that's the only thing that happened, it wouldn't be the worst thing. But even worse than that is they could gum up the combine and literally stop that combine. You don't want that to happen and you can't have those weeds in your seed. Well, the good news with Eastern Black Nightshade is we do have some products out there that will control it. For us on the farm with soybeans, Pursuit was the godsend. Pursuit is fantastic on it, especially if you put it in the soil, even at a half rate, we have found Pursuit is excellent. Now, Flexstar has some good activity, and I'd almost argue Flexstar is a better post-emerge product than Pursuit. I kind of like the Pursuit Pre. Fortunately, too, both products have residual because black nightshade comes up later in the year in many cases. So you can get the early control and the late control with both Pursuit and Flexstar. Yeah, so start with the three pre's as well. We do see some help on that from the Valor and Authority and Metribuzin components. Not so much help out of the Prowl or Trifluralin in that mix. On the corn side though, the pre's can be pretty valuable for you because we've got a lot of good choices there between Sure Start and Triple yep. Flex. I like them. Uh, I also like Verdict. That's got a lot of sharpen in it, which can give you some decent residual on nightshade too. Yep, post-emerge. Personally, I like status and a little bit of atrazine, but you know what? I could almost argue HPPDs oh, could HPPDs be better. are way better. <laughs> I, I like the HPPDs, and, and, and I would mix some atrazine in but, with them. Well, They've got decent amounts of residual too. That's the thing. The advantage is the HPPDs have much more residual than status. All right, when we look at wheat, we don't see a lot of black nightshade out in wheat, and we can control it fairly well with Husky post-emerge, but I would start off with Sharp and pre-emerge to help you out as well. Well, that's it for our Weed of the Week Eastern Black Nightshade, but stay tuned, Iron Talk is coming up next.